giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Glad to have you here. We're going to talk about art right now with our friend from the Montmont Gallery, Kate Gray, who's the director. Hi, Kate. Hello. Glad I'm to be here. Glad to have you on. Boone County History and Culture Center is where the Montmini Gallery is located. Mm -hmm. and right now, you've got a neat show up called What is Columbia? Yes. It's a photography show. Yeah. And it consists of 10 local professional photographers that we reached out and we said, okay, visually, what is Columbia to you? What story do you want to tell with that idea of photography? How do you want to bring this together? What is the place that you live in? How can we see that in a new way? How do you see it? And so this show, like I said, it consists of 10 artists, so you'll see 10 different um, perspectives of what is Columbia to them. Now this has been up since late November. Yes, late November. Mm -hmm. And it continues through January? Uh -huh, through the end of January. It'll come down on the 27th of January. So have you had any real responses on this? Any kind of feedback, people saying, yeah, I, I see what they're saying. Or well, Yes, it was so interesting at the opening reception. People just stopped and they said, I see where I live in a new way. I had one person come up to me and said, you know, I, I, I see my world based on how I live it. And it's kind of like a castle or a palace in my perspective. And I look at these images and I see it from a different perspective. I see a whole other side of nature. I see whole other faces. I see um, environment. And it's just interesting that all of this exists around me and I don't see it. It's Funny so how it takes a show yeah. to show people mm -hmm. things that they really hadn't seen before yeah. or to look at it in a whole new way. And I think that's a way to look at it. It's maybe not seen before, but see it in a new way. Because we, we, you know, we see things just all the time that we live in, our environment. But how do we take and really see what's going on around us? I mean, to me, that's an art form. And this idea that you've got all these photographers that are putting their take on it, putting it out there, and then you can go to one show, kind of open up your idea of what things, how would I, what would I photograph? You know, it's one of the things I, right. I ask people at the opening. I said, what would you photograph? If I'm you right now, what would yeah. I photograph? Yes. Yeah, what would I do? Exactly. You know, if you're given a day, what is Columbia to you? How do you see it? And so this was, uh, it's opened up a lot of great conversation and ideas for our community. And that's what art does the it best, does. right? It does. Yes. What? That's my hope. Now, you sent us three photos. <laughs> yes. So uh -huh. let's take a look at the first okay. one, which Fantastic. is very striking. Yes. Um, the color and the clouds. I just mm. love this photo. It's beautiful. Notley Hawkins, a uh, phenomenal photographer. And uh, he, his work is brilliant, beautiful. It has movement. It has stillness. Uh, the calmness, but yet the energy of it, I think, really reflects our community. Uh, some people call us a flyover state, but I think when you look at that, you can just see a hidden gem hiding uh, in the in the cornfields or however you want to soybean fields of this uh, area, and it's it's just breathtaking. It is beautiful work. The next photo is um, a little bit of nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is Deb Roberts' work. She's another phenomenal photographer, art photographer in, in my categorization of types of photographers. And what she did was is she finds her inspiration for Columbia by the, her time on the Katy Trail. So she went out and she collected artifacts just from the Katy Trail. She, put them, she took them back to her photography studio and she arranged them in such a way that told a story, put them together, and then photographed them. And so that's her take on Columbia. That's beautiful in its own way, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And the last one, a little on the unusual side, yes. black yes. and white, uh -huh. and uh, a leg in the middle of the road. Yes, this happens <laughs> not to be nervous or anything, that's just a Barbie's leg. Okay. Um, you know, I'm sure she will miss it. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is Stacy Pottinger's work. And Stacy is a phenomenal photographer here in town. And she, um, has a great eye for things. And what she did in her installation was she took 75 images that are roughly three by three inches, and she made a collage, like snapshots, of what is Columbia. And this is a shot she took. And a couple things that are interesting to me is it makes you think. So the show makes you think. I think art should make you think, get you out of your comfort zone, like what is going on here? At the same time, the awareness that she had to stop and take this photograph 
to me is a subliminal message of the show, awareness of our environment and the world that we're in. And I think that okay. this is a very uh, iconic image that uh, is, is also fun. And so, yeah, that's a little bit of background about her, about her work in that shot. So many, many more photographs to look at. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, there's 10, our, 10 photographers. We've got a lot. They're all fantastic. So. It's, it's been a great show. And you've got, I mean, you've got up until January 27th mm -hmm. to see the show. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the great show coming up next time, but yeah. we're out of time. Okay. Come back and talk to us about that. I'd though, love okay? to. Thanks Boone, for having me. Boonhistory.org for more information about this show and all kinds of other things coming up. You've got kind of like your year planned out, don't you? Just about. Well, we need to talk some more. I know. Okay, I love great. It. Thank you so much. Thank Happy you, 2019. The same. See you next time. Bye-bye.